Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Stryker 2916 toy hauler travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, we'll walk you through the inside and outside of this toy hauler, kind of show you what this thing's all about. We'll even show you what it looks like all closed up at the end. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Stryker 2916 toy hauler travel trailer here. Uh, we're gonna actually start in the back and then we'll kind of work our way forward for you and kind of get back into the camper. But stepping back here to the back, we currently have it in patio mode. This was ordered with the patio rail system here. Now you can do a set of steps aftermarket to go off the back if that interests you and basically use this back piece as a swing gate to let you in and out. Now looking forward here, you can see this one was also ordered with these three season door feature. Nice setup here, allowing you to leave the patio deck down, slide up the glass panels, close it off, and help keep in a lot of your air conditioning. Um, it's not a perfectly sealed off setup on these three season doors on any of these RVs, but it does help a lot with keeping the heat out on those hot days versus just a big screen wall like a lot of cheaper ones have. Now up top there, you do have a couple lights. You also have prepping for the rear Furion observation camera, letting you see what's going on behind you when you're traveling down the road or backing into a site. Now those three season doors, by the way, do swing open, making it wider for your bigger toys to go in. When you do the three season door, however, you do lose, I wanna say probably about six inches or so of the actual length of the garage area because it has to allow for those doors. Now this also was ordered with the electric dinette bed system slash setup here. This right here has uh, dinette mode. I did not put the table out so it'd be easier to video this here. But you do have flip up and down cup holders. This lower part will make into a bed so you could sleep a couple people there. You have a little rubber diamond plate floor and kind of a sloped floor as well, making it easier for your toys to go in and out. You can see here the metal table that I did not get out. There's actually two of them in this one. And in your top bunk mattress area as well, there's electric outlet, LED light strips up there. Same thing over here. You have a little vent up there as well. Now the windows back here on each side of this dinette area also open. Same thing with that window there. You have a little pull across curtain here to give the people sleeping back here a little bit of privacy. Quite a few D-rings in your floor. Little side vent there in case you are traveling with gasoline type of stuff in here. If your motorcycle or razor or something has gas in it, you want to pop those little side vents open. There's one on each side of this garage area to allow for venting. You have the little sofa here that will flip down, make into a bed as well, or you can flip it up against the uh, window there so it's out of the way. And that sofa area and the kitchen over there, basically everything in this little gray wood section all the way around, is part of the slide out. So that will close up electronically. You'll see that at the end of the video. Over here, you got a couple freestanding chairs here with the little kick out foot rest. So you could maybe take those back to your party deck during the day or take them outside with you if you need to, move them out of your way when you're loading your toys. Got a stereo here, a little amplifier up there as well. And some of your controls for your slide, your awning, a bunch of light switches, and your monitor panel all right here. There's an electric box with breakers and fuses down there, propane leak detector, uh, eight cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. So this will work off propane and electricity where a lot of RVs now are just 12 volt powered. They do have really nice solid surface countertops around the kitchen area.
Look it up real quick. You have a little subwoofer up there, TV up there, prepping for a camera in here as well. So you could do a camera here with a separate monitor to see what's going on with your toy while you're driving down the road. And also up there, there's a little blue sticker on a bump up there that is prepping for a WineGuard Connect system, allowing you to basically subscribe to an internet. It's basically an aftermarket item you can buy, hook up right there and take internet with you. Looking up top in our bathroom here, we have vent fans, skylight, AC ducts in here, glassed in shower area, quite a bit of cabinet storage space as well. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Sink area, we'll look at this again from the other side when we get around to that door. You got a couple drawers down below, some storage space. They do an air fryer oven instead of the traditional RV oven. And they have a three burner gas stove top. Traditional microwave here. Kind of a little pantry area here. And then we're stepping back into the master bedroom area right here. Now there is storage underneath of your bed. The bed also raises up and there's a little bit of storage under there as well. And this section, you can kind of see it here a little bit. Drawer on each side, electric outlet on each side as well. Hanging closet on each side. The generator start stop button up there if you do that generator feature. Windows on both sides here also open. You have your entry exit door there as well. There's TV hookups up there also. And there's a decent amount of room to maneuver around the bedroom area here. This will take you right into that bathroom area. So you can kind of see it here from the other side. Now, if you don't mind, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Help out my channel. Be very grateful for you. And as always, check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Should definitely save you a lot of money. We're going to step outside. I want to show you around the outside. Then we're going to come back in, close this thing up for you. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Striker 2916 toy hauler travel trailer by Cruiser RV here. And we're gonna start here on the door side and we'll work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a cheaper wood Luan backer. You have lower black metal skirting, some vital graphics. There is a storage compartment area right here. You can see this customer chose to go with some hitch work that uh, will be installed when they come to pick it up. It's inverter prepped. There's a light in here, the charge controller for the solar panel. You have tire link monitoring system prepping right there. So you could uh, upgrade to that if you want. And also a solar disconnect battery connect in there as well. You do have power stabilizer jacks on the front and rear of the RV. You have the traditional hover style entry steps. Those are rated for 300 pounds. Big power awning, LED light strip built in. You have the uh, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head. There is a black tank flush right here to clean out the toilet system. You have a cable outlet here and also an electric outlet here. That outlet where you can see that little white sticker on it is prepped for the inverter. If you add the inverter, it can basically run electric off of battery power. You do have the furnace exhaust out right here, refrigerator maintenance panel here, and the fresh water tank fill right here as well. There are two speakers up high up there. Now here's a nice feature that they do on these guys. You have Goodyear Endurance tires, aluminum wheels, drum brakes. It also has that upgraded center point suspension, but then the RV also has shocks on it. 
Very few RVs in the industry have shocks and a center point suspension on their setup to try and make your ride more comfortable. There is little red LED light strip under a couple different spots of the RV. There's also hot and cold low point water drains right up there. You do have a little amber light down here for a step light. Large folding entry handle there. Traditional RV entry door with the window and those windows are Lippert thin shade ready so you can do the aftermarket shade if you want. And you have a little porch light up there. You'll see a little advertisement here that talks about the climate defense. You got enclosed heated underbelly, model number, limited three year structural warranty. This is nice because not all brands have a three year structural warranty. Most of them are only one. Down below here, you could see your spare tire under the back, the rear power stabilizer jacks, and then you have a fuel tank under there as well. Little side vent. Another bright side light as well. Now you can see back here from the ground level what this kind of looks like with the patio out. At the intro, we showed it with the door closed. Now you could, if you wanted to, get a set of steps after market and kind of come off the back and basically use one of these back pieces as kind of a swing gate. That three season door feature, that was a really nice option to have there. You have prepping for a rear observation camera up there. Nice feature to consider adding, let you see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road, back it into a campsite. And then you have a couple docking lights up there as well. You have prepping here on the side for the portable stow and go ladder. Nice little telescoping ladder you can use to get up and down on and off your roof. Another docking side light here as well. And right here you have the fuel station and the fill up for that fuel station. And you have your detachable 50 amp power cord here and you have your cable satellite inlets. Another little side vent up there. I got out the little uh, ladder thing here so we could climb up here and check out our roof. See what this all looks like. This one was ordered with two ACs. So you have an AC up front. You do have some plumbing stack vents, skylight over there. The WineGuard Air 360 Plus TV antenna system, solar panel, another roof vent and stuff back there. But it is very, very important to get up here from time to time, inspect your seams and your seals and make sure everything is nice and sealed up. You don't want any water getting into your RV, bad deal. You have the 10 gallon gas electric water heater right there. Cold water spray port, city water inlet, stove exhaust right here as well. Now just down below, you're gonna have your dump area right here. So you got your gray, galley, and black all coming out of one area. Generator exhaust right there. The Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator. Nice option to consider adding. Now there's a couple little informational stickers we want to go over. So first one up right here is production sticker. This basically tells me on here the most important part, gross vehicle weight, 12,800 pounds. That's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, don't exceed that number. Tire size, ST235-80R16 E-range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Very, very important to keep up with that tire pressure when traveling. We'll get to the unloaded vehicle weight sticker here in a second. You have the fiberglass front shell here with the LED lights built in. Lower metal skirting here. You have a battery disconnect back there, 
battery area right here as well. Propane tanks, hard bottle cover, power tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, seven way barbman wiring plug. Now we're going to check out, let's see where they put the unloaded vehicle weight sticker. I forgot to look at that before we started the video. Uh, here it is. It is right here. So it weighed 8,834 pounds when it rolled off the assembly line. They even have a nice little construction thing here to kind of tell you some of the key features there. All right, we're going to head back inside. I want to show you what it looks like all closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back up inside the brand new 2024 Striker 2916 toy hauler here. And I wanted to show you what it looked like with the slide closed real quick. So you can kind of see I've already closed it up just to kind of speed this part up for us. When it closes up, we're not really walking down the hallway area. So that area is kind of blocked off. However, we still can walk through the bathroom to get to the master bedroom if we need to. You obviously have the entry exit door going out your bedroom as well. So you could still get to it from that way. Now again, you can kind of see the sofa flipped up out of the way gives me more room for the toys. I could take these chairs, move them out of the way, bring in a nice big toy. Um, there's some specs on the garage and things down in the description for you. Now when you are ready to go back out, you got to just make sure you hit your slide button. Push the button and it goes on out. This is the Schwintech or Lippert in-wall slide it's referred to as. This is basically two 12-volt motors that run this thing in and out on a track system. So it doesn't go out real far, but it does go out enough to give you what feels like quite a bit of room in here. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Greatly appreciate it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. And as always, check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.